he has a great young coach and has a chance for a great future. Yeah, certainly on the fast track, and the numbers will back that up as we take a look at Eric Spolstra. Among coaches with equal experience, ninth all-time regular season winning percentage, sixth all-time in postseason winning percentage, 34 wins with the Heat in postseason in the championship clincher, tying Pat Riley in Miami. Now, Spolstra took a moment after the game to spend some time with David Aldridge and shared his thoughts on taking it all. First of all, Eric, congratulations. It's a long, long two years, and you got it done. Yeah, it's, it's been an incredible journey. Uh, you know, everybody had to sacrifice something to come with this team. It's well documented that we've been through quite a bit. Uh, but that's part of, uh, you know, the fire that we had to go through together, and it makes this moment that much more gratifying. You said that you thought your team was due to start making shots. I guess that was tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really necessarily expecting that. Uh, but I think, you know, the team proved that uh, – through a lot of things that we went through, that there was a resourcefulness mm -hmm. um, that we could win in different ways. It didn't necessarily have to be uh, knocking down all those shots, and you know we proved that when we got behind in some series. You got behind in the last three playoff series, and you guys were able to get off the deck each time. What was the constant? Uh, well, it's a very connected group. Uh, you know, it's a special group. Like I said, uh, guys had to sacrifice it. Other than our draft picks, everybody had to sacrifice something, mm -hmm. either financially or uh, minutes or, or opportunities or shots uh, to be a part of this. Uh, and then to go through everything that we did, um, you know, even the new guys, they inherited our pain from last year. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that, uh, you know, we all wanted to overcome this year. Well, you've talked about that, your start in the video room and, working 96 hours in straight trying to do the cut-ups and get everything the way that the coaches wanted it to go through that come all the way up through the organization and to, and to be the coach of the champion team uh, I can't imagine anybody else could have a more kind of complete sense of what it means to be a part of an organization <laughs> yeah uh, I don't think I really envisioned this uh, when I started working in the video room for Pat 17 years ago uh, you have to be lucky uh, in this business. It's, it's a special organization. Uh, it's not a coincidence uh, that many of us are, are like me, have worked here for 17 years. Mm -hmm. uh, when Mickey took over the team, uh, he really believes uh, in loyalty. Uh, and when you say a, a family atmosphere, uh, the Miami Heat, you know, we truly uh, live that, that family atmosphere. What will it be like? Your family's been in basketball for a long time. See your dad and your and your family to be able to celebrate and share this with them. What will it mean to a family that's been in been in basketball for many decades? Yeah, they know how tough it is. <laughs> uh, really, I mean, first of all, the lifestyle mm -hmm. uh, of being in the NBA is not normal uh, necessarily, uh, but also uh, we've been an NBA family for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get these opportunities, you know how uh, fragile they can be, mm -hmm. um, and how uh, lucky uh, at times you have to be as well. Eric, congratulations. Thanks very much. Okay, David. Thank All right. you. All right.